What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in, man. I, I want to talk about this uh, particular topic that was sent to me, accompanied with video and uh, photo captions of a female rapper, quote unquote, by the name of Big Clit. I think that's how you say her name. She's one of these weirdo racially ambiguous females that i've never heard of she probably is more so locally based i believe she's from the west coast and she's doing some type of a performance and she calls this guy on stage to put his face all in her box right and she put this on tiktok because again she's desperate for attention and to be known let me just say this all these people complain about it being a pandemic what do you have to say about this are you virtue signaling liberals you snowflakes what do you have to say about this first off this is not sanitary this female has been on stage we don't know when the last time she has been able to uh take care of herself and she's calling this guy on stage this is why i don't really want to hear anything about women being harassed and women being you know um, men menacing them because this woman clearly and i have said this before women are not afraid of men they're not intimidated by men i think women use that to their advantage because they see a lot of these opportunities to enrich themselves socially economically they've gained power in society by saying that men are oppressing them that men are harassing them that men are being inappropriate with them but here you have a female who's being totally inappropriate to herself on stage just for tiktok fame for tiktok attention this is where this generation is. This is a very lost generation. And the women are so hyper physical these days. They have tattoos all over the place. And what I get from this female is that she has a lot of masculine energy. And women with masculine energy are the type of women that you need to stay as far away from as possible because they are no good to you or anybody. Now you can tell that this female has probably been through some trauma in her life. You have to be going through some trauma in your life when you are, well, when you do what she's done to her body and also the stuff that she posts on social media. This is somebody that you could tell has a lot of issues. Like most of these women these days, they don't get therapy. They get on TikTok, they get on Instagram. This is their therapy when they need to go and get some work done on themselves. And that's why I tell a lot of people, listen, man, you have individuals these days that you know mentally are not all there. They're not all there mentally. And instead of them getting work done to repair whatever damage they've done, they run to social media. They run to TikTok. You got people self snitching. You got people telling all their business and then wanting no one to, to, to know about it. Like there was this topic I was going to do right about this female who's who, who husband allows her to sleep with other men, right? What happened is she ended up taking out all her TikTok videos and she posted a TikTok message trying to shame people for clowning her marriage, clowning her husband. And the article that I was going to actually do, they ended up taking that article down because she wanted to become a Karen because she decided to put all her business out there and did not expect people to have something to say about it. Like this is the type of generation that we have. You have a lot of these Gen Z millennials who think that the world is one way when it's, when it's not as different as they want it to be. They want to live in a world where they don't get criticized. They want to live in a world where they can, you know, you have women that will date men that will allow them to sleep with other men. 
or marry men that will allow them to sleep with other men and then they don't like the criticism that they get you're putting this on social media so it's no different than this big clip female putting this video on social media and thinking that nobody because i'm pretty sure once the backlash become intense because she actually has this on her instagram as well when the when it becomes too intense she is going to get upset but this guy but she's allowing this guy who he may not even be a stranger she might know him you know this might be one of the many guys that she deals with right that's licking her uh the edges of her box or you know close to it so it wouldn't surprise me if she knows him but it also wouldn't surprise me if she would allow a random guy to do that so i want people to understand something i have no problem with women wanting to empower themselves quote unquote but you got to understand there's going to be backlash people don't live their life the same way you do i know a lot of these millennials and gen zers think that everybody's supposed to live their life the way that they live it but that's just not that's not realistic that's not reality it really isn't you are who you are because of the lifestyle that you've chosen and there are other people who choose to look down upon you because it's clear that you have some sort of psychological issue that you have not been able to address and it's it's very obvious it's very obvious that something is wrong here and it's very obvious that this female has some sort of issue that she has yet to address because in any other situation you know she'd probably call this guy a creep or you no know i'm saying like she'd be complaining but it's okay when she allows i guess allows the guy to just walk up and that she doesn't know in a pandemic with all these snowflakes on social media talking about get the vax but what do you have to say about this female allowing this guy to lick all on her is that okay that must be okay because y'all not saying nothing but because she's displaying masculine energy and they and by the way they want a lot of y'all women to display as much masculine energy as possible because you have a lot of women who hate their own femininity they really do you want to tell a lot about a woman look at her halloween costume you have women that are dressing up as their alter egos and a lot of times a lot of these modern western women their alter egos are men because they have masculine energy and they want to show it off this woman did this because she wanted to display her masculine energy and it came off as weird it came off as gross and it came off as being desperate for attention and debt and being desperate to be noticed so let me just think in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts make sure you like this video and share it follow me on facebook twitter and instagram